Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our Mama intentions. Mama Maria, I beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of promises Let of Christ. Let us lift up our hands and pray one Hail Mary prayer. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. I welcome each and every one of you to this one day a retreat. So morning we started this retreat, 9.30, with holy rosary and praise and worship. Then we bless the entire place and the whole world. And this online also, wherever this transmission goes, that place that we already blessed. And people therein also blessed. And also we heard the first aspect of the mystery of blessing. Today we reflect on the mystery of blessing. How to receive it, how to enjoy it, how to transmit it. How to receive the blessing and uh, how to remain in the blessing and uh, how to transmit it. So how to inherit, how to keep it, how to transmit it to future generation. And we already heard about Luke chapter 145. Mother Mary believed in the promises, so she turned as a blessing. And all those who believe in the promises will be called the blessed. And those who call her blessed, they also will share or inherit the blessing. So when we are united with a blessing, we also will be blessed. We will inherit a blessing. When we connected with a curse, we also will inherit a curse. So we dissociate from curse and associate with blessing. So second aspect of the same mystery, mystery of blessing, we take in this aspect. Genesis chapter 3 uh, was... Uh, 12. When uh, God called Abraham, Abraham, that is Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. Not 3. Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. Abraham, you have obeyed me and believed my promise. So, two things that we have to take into account to receive a blessing, to remain in blessing, to transmit. First one, Discipline our life according to the word of God. Or be the doer of the word of God. Second aspect in the life of Abraham. He believed in the promise though he has not seen it but he believed it. So believe in the promises and live according to the message preached by Jesus. Surely you are associated with a blessing and you will inherit a blessing and you will retain it and you will transmit it. And this is a key word that we Take now for our meditation. Blessed be, you will be a blessing. Those who bless you, they also will be, get a blessing. And the one who curses you will be cursed. And in you, all the families, all the persons, all the nations on earth shall be blessed. The reason that Abraham disciplined himself according to the word of God. Second one, Promises he believed. The same way we are going to inherit a blessing, retain a blessing, and we are going to transmit the blessing. For that, I will give you some references from the Bible for our reflection and from the magisterial teaching. And the last topic, afternoon, Brother Rehu will give you one more aspect of the same blessing. How to inherit it or and how to transmit it. First Peter 3.9 Bless everybody. Don't curse anyone. You will share a blessing. You will inherit a blessing by imparting blessing. And first, the blessing, we bless God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We bless God Almighty. And three young people blessed God in the fire, in the, their difficulties. So that's called the blessing God. And then, we bless other people also. Let God bless you. You may inherit a blessing. That's why every striking prayer, we do a blessing prayer also. Striking and blessing prayer. 
we suspend the faculties of the criminals which are possessed by devil immediately we bless that faculty with the power of the holy spirit to inherit a blessing from god we bless our enemies but without striking them without suspending their faculties or without making devoid of the function of their faculty people also let god bless you you may inherit a blessing that's why every striking prayer we do a blessing prayer also striking and blessing prayer we suspend the faculties of the criminals which are possessed by devil immediately we bless that faculty with the power of the holy spirit to inherit a blessing from god we bless our enemies but without striking them without suspending their faculties or without making devoid of the function of their faculty you cannot fill them with the power of the holy spirit so striking prayer upon seven groups of criminals are eminent and very necessity in our time otherwise crime will increase and these criminals will govern the world instead god almighty and people who are with god must govern the world because jesus redeemed it from the hands of the devil and devil is only an intruder and this intruder using the faculties of many people and trying to govern the world but we have to come all people of god from all 12 religions come together and uh, believe in the promises of jesus we will govern the world together with god almighty according to the message preached by jesus surely you and i going to inherit a blessing amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so turn your head left and right some people are ready to hit left and right white and blue but you have to bless the people left and right so you have to just punch the shoulder of the person left and right and say today you are going to inherit a blessing one child already punched the nose of the mother <laughs> no only put one a small punch on the shoulder so wake the people up to inherit a blessing hallelujah now i don't i recommend you to give a shake hand after covid shake hand already disappeared so put your hand like this greet each other like in the covid season you are going to inherit a blessing you have to say inherit a blessing inherit a blessing so you are here today to inherit blessing from abraham blessing from abraham to jesus and jesus to us this is a sequence blessed and blessing coming from abraham to all those who follow the method of abraham just to say that oh i believe in the a person of jesus christ that is not enough you will not inherit anything matthew chapter 721 all those who call me lord lord or we have father abraham or we have saint joseph as our patron saint you will not inherit anything lord lord or doing a lot of prayers vocal prayers but the heart is very far from god never you will enter into the kingdom never you will inherit the kingdom what is there in the kingdom never you will inherit it be the doer of the word of god that means discipline our life according to the message in the bible first point second one believe in 8000 promises in the bible this is a key word that we want to meditate and uh, this is the way we have to inherit a blessing retain a blessing and sh share this blessing amen thank you jesus there are number of testimonies we have uh, who inherited blessing from god by following these two things now i give only two messages what is the first message discipline your life according to the word of god or be a doer of the word of god do everything according to the word of god then second one believe in the promises now somebody met with an accident and right side of the cheek especially near the ear area broken that person is being healed inherited a healing from jesus the healer when you are connected or joined together a blessing you are a blessed person when you join together a cursed person you are going to become cursed where the bible says first time 
cursed. Genesis chapter 3, 14. God said to Lucifer, and the embodiment of Lucifer in a serpent, God said to that serpent, incarnation of Lucifer, the first incarnation of Lucifer is a serpent. And uh, God Almighty said to this serpent, curse you among the animals and among all creations. So those who follow the path of Lucifer, that path means disobedience to the word of God and don't believe in the promises. When God has given promises, you eat all the fruits, don't eat this fruit and you will live. It is a promise. You will live forever. It's a promise. And devil came, don't believe in this promise. Don't discipline your life according to the word of God. Live a life according to your desire. What you want, you do it. I also have power. I will help you to do whatever you want to do. Enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your life, woman. Why should you discipline yourself according to the word of God? That is nonsense. First sin, last sin, present sin. Live a life according to our own desires, whims and fancies. Enjoy the life. Don't discipline yourself. Take things as it comes. Don't challenge the situations. Adjust everything with, accept everything. No. Adjust our life. Synchronize our life to the word of God. Do not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Romans chapter 12, verse 3, do, uh, 2 and 3. Do not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed according to the message preached to my God Almighty. What do we read? Please read together. Do not be conformed to this world or what is in this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. That means do not conform to the word, world, but conform your life to the word. Do not conform your life to the world, but to the word. So the first sin, against the word of God. God said, God given promise, reject it. They did it. Then the one who is the author of curse is devil, the serpent, Lucifer. The word first used the curse against Lucifer. So those who follow the method of Lucifer, that means disobeying the word of God, live a life according to your desire, don't believe in promises. Then come to Mary's word today. First uh, uh, hour we meditated. Blessed is the one who believed what is promised. Blessed. Here it is cursed. So curse came to this world. Lift up your hands now and repeat after me. Curse came to this world. Through the devil. And he is the cursed one. He is the lost one. He is the cause of all troubles in this world. Those who follow his message, they will endure a curse. They will inherit a curse. But we are ready to obey the word of God. We are ready to inherit a blessing by obeying the word of God and by believing in the promises. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then what is the second aspect of the curse, second aspect of the blessing? Now, first curse, we have to cancel it. The curse which is upon devil and those who are siding with the devil through devil worship or sorcery or black magic or spell or curse or Freemasonic worship or joining the group of Illuminati or some other groups or Scientology or whatever it be, away from God, away from faith. Inheriting a blessing or uh, inherit a curse automatically. There we have to start believing and conforming our life or config configuring our life with word of God. That curse is cancelled. What is cancelled? One curse is cancelled. So do not be united with the devil or demons or demon worshippers, but 
join with God. What is the benefit of demon worship? What is the benefit of demon worship? There are so many benefits. Otherwise, who will go for devil worship? What is the benefit of it? Matthew 4, 9. Devil himself said, I am cursed, O Lord. But those who believe me and follow me, I will give everything in this world. What is in other world? Nothing. Matthew 4, 9. Option given to Jesus. Jesus, don't die on the cross. You live forever, man. You are a handsome Wonderful man, do you live forever with your people? But you worship me as a representative of all the whole world. I love to be worshipped. What Jesus said, I don't want anything. What do you show me? The entire glory of the world. 235 nations and territories, thrones and gold and platinum, all the apartments, everything will be yours. You are the king of the universe. Worship me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday, somebody put a message in the WhatsApp. If this option given to people who are living in Bangalore, I will give you a three-bedroom kitchen apartment free. Worship me. Instead of the whole world, one apartment in the 11th floor is enough to worship the world. Hallelujah. But Jesus rejected the whole world and authority over it. I don't worship you. I worship God Almighty. I want to inherit a blessing from you, not from these material things to inherit from you. I don't want it. Amen. So when we have a Jesus, we will have power, authority. We have a book, God Loves, God Heals. Do you have it, this book, God Loves, God Heals? Or the full book? So God loves, God heals, says, when you are united with Jesus, eight authorities that Jesus has, that you will share eight authorities. Eight blessings, that also you will inherit it. And eight relationship, that also you will inherit it. Page number six, page number six, in a diagram I have given, eight blessings, eight authorities, eight relationship. It is easy to get a blessing to be connected with Jesus. Those who connected with the devil, demons, they will inherit a curse. The first curse that we remove it by uniting with the Christ Jesus and configuring our life with the word of God. Will you follow it? Then what is the, what is the benefit of it? Eight authorities. What are the authorities? Authority over quality. John chapter 2, 10. Authority over distance. John 4, 51. Authority over past sickness. John 5, 5. Authority over numbers. 6, 11. Authority over nature. John 6, 19. Authority over sin. John 8, 11. Authority over birth defect. John 9, 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. So we will inherit eight blessings connected with Jesus and eight blessings that we need, that we will receive, and eight relationship also. Eight, eight grades of relationship and growing in this relationship. And when we have a good relationship with Jesus, rest of the things are free. Authorities are free. Hallelujah. Powers are free. Kingdoms are free. That's why Sakai's was subtabled with all his wealth. He has everything in this world. But this man cannot sleep on his bed or five-star room. He cannot. He is sitting on the treetop. There are people like this. They have everything in this world. But they are not sleeping on their bed. They are sleeping on the roadside because they, take, they took three bottles of rum. Sleeping on the park. They are not sleeping in the room. Or sleeping in somebody else's house. Or sleeping with the dogs. Sleeping with the buffaloes. Sleeping with the snakes. Many people are doing it. And weeping everywhere. Hallelujah. Now we lift up our hands. So we are here to inherit a blessing today. What you are going to take home today? Jesus said, man, I am the blessing. Luke chapter 19, 5. 
I am the blessing man. I am coming with you. Today I tell you, after this one day retreat, when you are going home, Jesus is coming with you to give wonderful blessing. Then verse 8, this man said, what all illegal in my hand, I am just giving it back. What is right? What I, I have the right, I keep it. But what I illegally earned, I give away. I don't want it. Because Jesus is more precious than my illegal wealth. He given up illegal wealth. Legal wealth he kept. Legal wealth you keep it with you. After taxation and after tithes, that is legal wealth you keep it with you. And invest it for development purpose. Don't give it to others also. Love offering and tithe and tax. That is our giving. 35% of tax. 10% of love offering or tithe. Then after that 58 point. Approximately 58.5 is yours. 42.5% is illegal. I don't want it. What is collected without giving tax, without giving tithe, without giving love offering, without helping the poor people, he just given up. And he said, Jesus, you are my precious gift. If you are with me, I will get all these things. I will multiply it because you are the man of multiplication. You are the man of increase. You are the man of blessing. I know it. I want to see you. That's why I am just sitting on the treetop. And Jesus went along with him and uh, uh, Luke chapter 19 verse 5 Sakai I want to come with you so blessing is coming with you when you believe in Jesus blessing is coming and entering into your house do you believe it amen thank you Jesus so blessing is coming along with Jesus the person those who have a Jesus the person a blessing is coming to you full of blessing full of blessing why Mary has full of blessing and grace? Jesus is in her room. And where is Jesus now? In your room or in your heart? Jesus is in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What is in your heart now? Are you sure? Or somebody else? Or something else? I believe what you said. Because Logosians cannot tell lies. So I believe what you said. Jesus is in you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. One day, one small child came here. And he said, Father, I want to teach you pop music. My God, I don't want to sing anything. <laughs> I'm not talented to sing. No, no, I want to teach you pop music. What is that pop music? Oh, I learned it in the kindergarten. I want to teach you that song. What is it? He said, I am a Christian because CHRIST in me. And CHRIST in me, so I am a Christian. You are a Christian because CHRIST in you. And he's just rhyming like that. What is CHRIST and Christian? I am a CHRIST and because CHRIST in me. And he said, repeat it, Father. I am a CHRIST and because CHRIST in me. And he said, that is pop music. <laughs> And what is pop music or not music? I know. If Christ is in you, CHRIST in you, you are a CHRISTN. Then all the blessings in this world will come upon you. So Christ is the best model of it. Jesus said, I want to stay with you. Luke 19.5. Today, when you go home, who is coming with you? Are you sure? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But last Saturday, I saw that one lady took a lot of bread from the Logos cafeteria. I was, Father, this is very nice bun and bread that we bake it here. She took a lot. <laughs> Nothing wrong in it. If Jesus is inside, no problem at all. Bread also will be there. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, we are going to inherit a blessing when you believe in Jesus. That is Galatians chapter 3 verse 14. So, to inherit a blessing. Now, what do you have to do to inherit a blessing? Galatians 3 14. Believe in Jesus and follow his teaching. And be with him. He wants to be stay in your house. He wants to be with you. He is Emmanuel. And he is in you. He is in me. He is the hope of the future glory. And uh, if he is in you, 
every day you will inherit blessings so what we read then christ jesus the blessing of abraham might come to gentiles those who believe in jesus will inherit a blessing which was upon abraham and to you what is the blessing upon abraham now now you go to genesis chapter 12 verse 2 abraham you will have all things in this world and what you want enough and more and you will be a blessed person and through you the whole families in the world will be blessed and you will become a great nation you you will become a big family and also i will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing praise the lord then galatians 3:14 you will inherit this blessing because you are born again as a new creation by your faith in jesus john chapter 1:12 those who believe in jesus have a right to be born again in the tribe of juda in the tribe of abraham and there you will inherit abrahamic blessing and all the blessings which are manifested through jesus christ you will inherit it so for what we have to do to become a blessing believe in jesus what is believe in jesus live according to the word of god and believe in the promises lift up your both hands now two decisions needed brothers sisters two decisions needed sell all the curses in your life believe in jesus those who believe in jesus will not inherit a curse because faith in jesus john chapter 1:12 those who believe in jesus have a right to be born again in the tribe of juda in the tribe of abraham and there you will inherit abrahamic blessing and all the blessings which are manifested through jesus christ you will inherit it so for what we have to do to become a blessing believe in jesus what is believe in jesus live according to the word of god and believe in the promises lift up your both hands now two decisions needed brothers sisters two decisions needed to cancel all the curses in your life believe in jesus those who believe in jesus will not inherit a curse because romans 8:1 romans 8:1 there is therefore no curse those who believe in jesus there is therefore no punishment all of you sing together all the, there is no punishment there is no curse for those who believe in jesus those who believe in jesus they will not inherit a curse but they will multiply the blessing they will inherit a blessing right from abraham what was the blessing which was upon abraham that will be inherited when i believe in jesus amen thank you jesus so now we analyze three curses first one serpent is curse those who follow the wicked ways of the serpent and then lucifer and demonic ways they will inherit only only curse not a blessing but they can change it by believing in word of god and configuring the life they can cancel it what is second curse word 17 word 17 genesis 3 17 this land is cursed man you will work hard in this world but you will not enjoy the fruit of your labor of the hand because this land is also cursed because of the sin of adam and eve or disobedience of adam and eve this world was very productive very good and all are eating salad fruits honey roots nuts without having any work and work is only to nurture the world and beautify it work was a joyful situation genesis 2:15 work was a joyful situation it is for development of the world and for enjoyment and for physical fitness now genesis chapter 3 verse 17 work became a curse and this world only producing thorns and thistles and we are working and we are eating our bread because a sept of our uh, bro the sept of our life we eat our food hard work and john book of sirach chapter 40 verse 1 the king had hard work a beggar in the street had a hard life and people who are coming from the womb and return to the tomb till that they have a hard work you have a hard work i have a hard work but our work is producing only thorns and thistles nothing is good because of the curse how we have to turn this situation how you have to enjoy the fruit of the labor of your hand deuteronomy 27 ascend your hands now may I bless your hands may I bless your hands to produce wonderful result of the fruit of your labor 
Shall I bless your hands? Without your consent, I will not do anything. With your consent, my master Jesus will do everything. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless your hand. Deuteronomy 2, 7 be fulfilled. Surely the Lord, the God bless your undertakings. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. This world turned as a curse. Now, Deuteronomy 2, 7. This world is turned like a blessing. I bless the fruit of the labor of your hand. And the Lord may bless you. The Lord may make you. The wilderness be turned as a garden. Hallelujah. And you will build up cities and houses. And you will enjoy in all what God has given. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. So you are coming to Logos every Saturday or almost all days or on residential retreat to inherit a blessing from Jesus Christ. My duty is to guide you towards Jesus, the source of blessing. But prophet Jeremiah said, my people have done two mistakes. Only two mistakes. What are the two mistakes? Jeremiah 2.13, my people have done two mistakes, committed two evils. What is one? They have forsaken me, the source of blessing. Second one, the fountain of living water they rejected and dug out cisterns of the, for themselves, cracked cisterns, broken well that cannot hold water. So rejecting the blessing, that is Jesus Christ, and searching the blessing from cisterns, cracked cisterns that cannot give you joy and peace. Thinking that, that is good, but that is not good. Lift up your hands now. These two mistakes we should not do. Brothers, sisters, I love you so much, I tell you the truth. Don't do these two mistakes. Do not reject Jesus. Because Hebrews chapter 2, 3, Hebrews 2, 3, those who reject this great blessing, how they will be blessed how they will ex escape from the punishment waiting for them. Punishment is coming from the wrong actions by its own. How they will escape from the present problems. Brother, sister, tell me, how you will escape from this sickness? How will you escape from this poverty? How will you escape from these present crucial problems around you? You will not escape if you reject Jesus. How great is the blessing? But how horrible the rejecting the blessing. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Curse is going to be removed. Blessing is going to be installed. All of you, all of you are going to become blessed. And people will call you blessed man, blessed woman, blessed girl, blessed boy. You will become blessed. Some people already told you, cursed. After coming to this house, this house is cursed. You are coming to this place, this place is cursed. But here after I tell you, if you are with God Almighty, if you are with God Almighty, Joshua chapter 14, verse 9. All of you repeat, Joshua 14, 9. If you decided to follow the word of God and believe in the promises, this place where your feet touched, you will inherit it. Your children also will inherit it. Amen. Keep on lifting your hands and just read this message. Moses saw on that day. All of you say, Moses saw on that day. He made a swear. Surely, surely this land on which your food has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever. Because you have wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. Turn his hands on your chest. Follow Jesus. You will inherit a great blessing where you are, where you are. And your children also will enjoy it, transmitting the blessing for, to future generation by transmitting faith. Have faith in Jesus. Even give that faith to children. They also will inherit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, animals are cursed because of Lucifer and serpent. And um, women, verse 16 says, you will have a lot of pain. 
in childbirth it was a pleasant event now it is turned as a horrible or painful event but after that the joy will be multiplied but i will increase the birth pangs and this world will give you thorns and thistles and to you are burden increased day by day it all will be decreased when we believe in jesus now we share some of the blessings of the people who have come here let us pray now in the name of jesus we bind and cast out all spell and curse spirit of infirmities spirit of curse from us send them to the feet of jesus today we inherit a blessing from jesus because jesus is the blessed one blessed is the one who comes in the name of the lord who has come in the name of the lord jesus who has come in the name of the lord jesus who has come to this world who has come in the name of the lord those who believe in jesus will inherit a blessing please repeat those who believe in jesus will inherit a blessing amen sickness also can be considered as the sasa uh, inheritance of the original sin catechism chapter or article 2448 poverty sickness crippleness autism this all not personal sins and result it is the manifestation of the original sin which are not even cancelled by baptism that's why charles says jesus came to this world he took it into his body and he has released you now 14 children who are autistic at home are healed bring all these children after getting the healing to give a live testimony thank you lord more than of 700 people away from this place are filled with the spirit of joy and they are getting inheriting a financial blessing their poverty as a curse catechism article 2448 poverty is a curse that is the inheritance be received through the sin of adam and eve original sin poverty fight in the family sickness in our body diabetes hereditary diseases and the rest of the problems but the compassion of jesus made him to identify his life with us he has taken all this blame and the problem of the sin and our violations on his body those who believe in him this exchange will take place and jesus will set them free this is called the great compassion of jesus towards the people who have inherited curse now we all stand up so the whole mystery of blessing that we analyze one after another this is a big mystery how to cancel the curse how to inherit a blessing how to remain in it how to transmit it so we have received some messages from the bible and from the magisterial teaching in short three things you have to do first one try to live a life according to the word of god will you do that yes, then cancellation and sharing and inheritance will happen second one but that is not enough second one believe in the promises that going to happen in your life believing in the promises and word of god that we have to configure and live a life according to the word of god then believe in the promises what is the third one what is the third one first we believe second one promises then bless other people that acp prayer you have to do it first you strike and suspend the faculties then blessing prayer bring a blessing in their life you will inherit a blessing that we will listen next talk that is first peter 39 brother who will explain it how to bless others and inherit a blessing from god now how to believe in the promises how to be a doer of the word of god and inherit the blessing that i have explained right from abraham to jesus and from jesus to you the blessing will remain and also your children and their children also will be blessed and the final message that the lord gives lift up your both hands numbers 148 god is pleased with you
through Jesus. When you believe in Jesus, God is pleased with you. So we will enjoy in the blessing. We will enjoy in the blessing. And also, we will believe in the word of God, believe in the promise, and we will enjoy. So this is a message for each and every one of you. If the Lord is pleased with us through the sacrifice of Jesus, God is pleased with those who believe in Jesus, and he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows milk and honey. That means your future is going to be very bright when you believe in Jesus, believe in the promises, and also bless other people through ACP prayer. Criminals will be transformed. You will inherit a blessing. Lift up your hands. If you have a special uh, prayer intention when you come today to this one-day retreat, extend your hands towards this sanctuary. Your special intention is going to be fulfilled. Three times pray, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on my special intentions. So the God of Israel, 1 Samuel 1, 17, God of Israel may grant your petitions. So for what you have come today to this house, your intention is fulfilled. Now I see that uh, 24 persons who are standing here having shoulder pain and pain in their back, they are healed. How many of you have frozen shoulder and shoulder pain? Check yourself. I have seen 24 people are healed. Not only one or two. 24, because your hands are blessed today. And you have to put all your work and labor. That only going to be blessed. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Work is universal law. You have to work. That work will be blessed by God. Then you will inherit a blessing. So those who have shoulder pain, hand pain, cannot lift up hands. Now check it. And I want to see 24 people who are already healed. Or more than 24. Those who are healed, lift up your hands and wave your hand. Those who are healed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, more than 40, 45, 55 persons are already healed. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's kidney failure is being healed, and that person is under dialysis, that person is healed now. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you have complaints in your kidneys? The Lord is going to heal you now. Those who have complaints in the kidneys, Lift up your hands now. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord may bless you. Bless your kidneys. Let it function well. Remove all blocks and bondages in your treatment. The Lord may release the blessing now. Amen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 persons. Out of that, one person is perfectly healed. Out of 12, 11 persons are getting progressive healing. Maybe before sunset, it will be completed. Somebody's blood circulation is not proper in the brain. The heart pumping is very low and the blood is not going to the brain and there is some problem, that person is healed today. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody having that less blood flow in the brain? Anybody having that problem? The Lord says, one person is healed. One, two, three, four persons are standing here. One person is already healed. Two, three persons are on the way to be healed. Acute sinus complaint and also infection in the sinus cavity. Fourteen people are being healed. Dust allergy and food allergy and different types of allergies and sneezing in the morning and morning cold and cough. More than of 55 people are healed today. And uh, 14 people are here. Others are away from this place. Touch this crucifix. All Logosians are blessed with the gift of healing. Because Matthew 10.8, you have received the gift of healing. Heal others freely. You have received freely, freely give. In the name of Jesus, I bless your hands. I bless your hands. Receive the gift of healing to heal others with the compassion of Jesus, with the compassion of 
Jesus. Matthew 14, 14. He had compassion for the sick and suffering. So he cured everybody. Have compassion towards sick and suffering. When you pray over them with the compassion of Jesus, they will be healed. Freely receive, freely give. In the name of Jesus, I pray over the sick and suffering. Let them be healed today. Your hands are blessed. Place your hand, place your hand on your sickness. In the name of Jesus, I curse your disease. As Jesus cursed a fig tree, Mark 11, 14. Following day, that tree was dried up. In the same way, Lord, the next moment, the curse, the sickness that I cursed now, be dried up and removed, destroyed. I curse this cancer in your body. Shishar, paralysis, eczema, headache, tumor and cyst in different parts of the body, skin issues, gynec problems. Let all your sickness be healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody's left side of the stomach, there is a tumor bulging to outside that is being healed now. In the name of Jesus, I pray over the blind, let them receive sight. Deaf and mute. Yafata, Mark 11.34. Jesus said, Yafata. All of you say now, Yafata. Let it be opened. In the name of Jesus, we pray as Jesus prayed over the deaf and mute. Yafata. Let it be opened in the name of Jesus. So hereafter, whatever you say in the name of Jesus, that will happen. Make a sign of the cross on your sickness and just say, Wicked spirit or infirmity, get out of me and be bound at the feet of Jesus. So your sickness has gone to the body of Jesus, to the feet of Jesus. And Jesus will not have any additional pain. He already suffered in full. Let it be opened in the name of Jesus. So hereafter, whatever you say in the name of Jesus, that will happen. Make a sign of the cross on your sickness and just say, Wicked spirit or infirmity, get out of me and be bound at the feet of Jesus. So your sickness has gone to the body of Jesus, to the feet of Jesus. And Jesus will not have any additional pain. He already suffered in full. You are so, uh, he is waiting for your surrender. That's all. Nothing additional. It is already there. If you add one drop of water in the ocean, can you see any increase of the water there? No. In the same way, you can offer any amount of suffering because he is full of the ocean. He is like an ocean. Nothing will increase. Already done. And now he is glorified. His body has the power to absorb everything. Being without afflicted. He can carry your sickness. Give to Jesus. Now your intentions are fulfilled, your sickness are healed. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord may fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit and give you full of joy and peace. Amen. So you will inherit only blessing today after. Believing in Christ Jesus. After believing in Christ Jesus, you will inherit only blessing, not a curse. Now we have one second of food. Let it be a source of healing and blessing for us. And those who take it, let them increase in their blessings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.